kind of hoping and maybe in the mix to keep things interesting we'll pick up an early smallmouth um, in this part of the um, area we can catch and release fish for smallmouth but right now we're quasi targeting them because what's going on is that on the inside edges of some of this water it's just saturated right now with baby chinooks they're about yay big and the smallers are eating them and sort of steelhead and we're swinging some flies in and maybe pick up a a uh, smallie or maybe even a last chance steelhead so I'm down here with Fred and you can see him somewhere in the background trying to cast and we're gonna see what we can find and see if we can can't pick up a fish or two follow along a good one. This one's got some color to it. But I think I may have to chase it. You got a chaser? I think so. I think this is like much bigger than the last one. Getting it looks like you're getting some line back. Yeah. Oh, it's just hanging out. to it. No splash on that. Yeah. I think we got a few minutes before I go chasing that. I think so. <laughs> Thing is this this is fifty some degree water. They've been off the spawning for a while, they've been eating. Yeah, they get the carbs coming in the shallows here? Oh, they show up once in a while. Uh -huh. I've been watching a lot of videos of guys fishing carp. It's incredible. This thing, what is it? I think we have a carp. <laughs> <laughs> No wonder it's pulling hard. Holy shit. <laughs> and I think it's a big one too. He's off. He's off? He either broke the line or pulled off. Or pulled off. Well, I think it was a big old car. Holy cow. I've never seen him jump out of the water like that. Well, I got a break in the surface on the camera, so. Man, 
thing put some flights in. It's right here. Oh, no. Let's see if we can net him. Got the springs ready. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yes, baby. That was a good fish. That was freaking awesome. Oh man, the jumps were like amazing. Amazing. That was that was what a rush. They got a lot of juice to them, don't they? Yeah, they do. Oh, that's off. Can you shake himself off? Yeah. I didn't want to set that. I figured I had a good hook set. When he had a good hook set. He just, yeah. just like said, had a lot of juice and threw the hook. <laughs> Let's check that hook out, make sure it's okay. Excellent example of a Chinook salmon par. I don't think this poor guy's gonna do too well. He got kind of hung up on one of our woolly buggers. But I'm gonna get him back in water pretty quick. Anyways, I think this is what the steelhead and the bass are feeding on. And also, this river produces a lot of them, about 20 million is generally what it produces. So, anyways, this is what he looks like. Let's get him back in the water.
All right, this is kind of day two on a little bit of kind of late season drop back fishing. As I kind of got to start calling was last chance steelhead, kind of like with my brown trout. Uh, today I'm kind of fishing by myself. Yesterday I had Fred with me. So once again, I'm going to stay with the, pretty much the same theme of the fly. Uh, considering the fact that we've been in, got an infestation of baby Chinooks or rod tips fly rod you know line always gets tangled around the rod tip sound familiar get that out but anyways yesterday we did really good with olive woolly buggers um, got a few steelhead to eat a couple carp to eat a couple bass to eat and yeah it's a little wet just do it in the river but yeah we're staying with the old olive um, I'm assuming that the, they're just as keyed in mid-river as they would be the lower river on the infestation of baby wild Chinooks and there's a lot of them this year. Well anyways, let's see if I can't swing up a fish and get one on camera. Whacked me good enough, it took a souvenir. No. Apparently, they're eating the, the olive ones up here, so I'll put another one on and see if it'll work again. Sometimes these fish have a bad habit of squealing. The fish will steal the fly from me, then swim around and show off his buddies what not to touch. So, I don't make out of Dennis's cringe. Anyways, let's see what happens. Hopefully, it'll work. The alligator fell out, but he ate it, and we're gonna send him back. See ya. See ya, buddy. Oh, you're plucking. I always say they don't have to be big to be fun, and that one was quite fun, even on a big rod. Well. New run, same old fly. Let's see what we can do.
That was a grab. Well, folks, looks like this steelhead is going to be, this dropped steelhead is what I'm going to be wrapping the video on up with. And it's a good, ironic way to end a very challenging steelhead season. So, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to be off to other fishing. And once again, come September, we'll be back, after, back on the tribs. And October, we'll be back to chasing steelhead again. So these fish are off to get onto the lake and do some growing. Hopefully a lot of it will see some good returns this year and hopefully these fish will be back and be even bigger and meaner. And we'll have a little bit more consistent fishing. Every year is different. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, we got a lot of other videos coming up so please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon because yeah we got a lot of videos coming um, right through the rest of the year. So once again, thanks for watching. See you on the water, folks. This is Jay at JPEC Guides and Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer, we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer, we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you're interested in any of our outings or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.